Hey guys, it's a modern day Nana. Okay, why don't we, this was one of the sets I got from Joanne Fabric. And um, you know, it's just pretty basic. It's just got like kind of a yellow white moon, the tombstones. Uh, I think this they had painted green, like the bottom. Of course, the jack lanterns were just orange. So we could fix it up or uh, you know, make it as plain as we wanted. I just have a few paints. I just had like the, um, like a gallon of white paint. That's why I have mine in a baby food, food jar. I um, kind of uh, painted over this a little bit. This was something I got uh, thrifted that had, um, it has foam down in here. It had like some fake, you know, had like some fake, uh, um, you know, foliage or something. Anyway, these are super cute. They were really pretty cheap. I showed you in the haul. You'll have to look back. I can't remember now. Um, I guess we should probably go ahead and take them out. Um, they had, it doesn't matter, right? I mean, we can do whatever we want. I just grabbed some paints that I had down here. Um, uh, these are just acrylic paints. Uh, you know, get whatever green you like. Um, this is kind of a nice dark green. And then I will probably, when I'm done, I'll probably take and do like some Spanish moss, you know, just to um, dress it up a little bit. And plus you can see down in there. Um, so, you know, I'm not being, uber careful um you know just putting some paint on just playing i forget what these were i they were either 40 or 50 percent off but that has been a couple of weeks ago okay so there's that it's not like super duper great but like i said i'm gonna put some moss i'm gonna put some moss on it i think that's the only thing we're doing green so um i've just got my water that I was messing with some stuff earlier. We'll just rinse this, this paintbrush out. Okay, so now, um, let me see our jack-o'-lanterns. They're gonna fit down. I don't know how much they slide. This is wet. I don't know how much they slide down in there. You know what I mean? Oh no, you can see quite a bit of it. Hmm, I wonder if I wanna paint that wonder if I want to paint that part green too. Maybe should. Let's go ahead and paint this part green. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I usually have a pretty fun time at Halloween. What do you guys do? Do you do anything fun? You just hand out candy or... Um, We've got, uh, uh, I, we started the tradition um, years and years and years and years and years ago where we weren't home because we had taken the kids out trick-or-treating and when we were done trick-or-treating, we would always go over to my husband's mom house, mom's house, which just lived um, basically a block from us. And she'd make like potato soup and chili, whatever. And kind of people would congregate there, um, you know. And oh, it was it was a lot of fun. The kids would pour out their candy, of course, how you do, and you know, start dividing your candy. Okay, so I got that. I got that done. Okay, let's let that dry a second. Um, we did that for years and years and years. And then uh, after she passed, we started going to my daughter's house um, across the way. Uh, she lives here in town too, but she's got a little girl that is allergic to nuts. So uh, when she was small, she was super duper um, careful and uh, still is of course, but now um, Marley pretty much knows you know, she does know. She carries an EpiPen. Anyway, um, so we would go there. 
Um, so yeah, we didn't do a lot of, um, we didn't do a lot of staying at home. Um, and we still don't, but anyway, so there's of course all, uh, always trick or treating. I think my one daughter said today that it was, uh, it's on a Thursday, which is a bummer for the kids, but you know, so I've got just a couple different colors of orange. Um, I've got like kind of a burnt orange and just kind of a, like a orange orange. Um, I guess I shouldn't have done that yet though. Oh, just dumped my thing in the paint. Uh, we'll just let that sit a second because I don't really think we want anything else orange. We want our tree black. Now this I got, I thrifted it said Hobby Lobby on it, but I, nope, see, 99 cents. And it was like a full bottle. It is tempura paint. Um, shake well before using soap and water cleanup. Anyway, plenty good for what we're doing here, okay? So let's go ahead and do our tree. Um, no, it's nice because they have kind of the inside edges are already uh, are already black. So we'll go ahead and paint this and uh, let that dry some. I've got a heat gun. I very seldom use it. Um, one time I made um, I made fabric flowers and I used that um, I used like um, um, Oh, the fabric was kind of um, kind of sheer shiny. Anyway, you took it wasn't cotton, you know. It had like some um, um, I don't know polyester. It was anyway. You it was the kind that you basically melt the the fabric and curl up the edges. We can do that sometime. It was a lot of fun and it was kind of loud. So, you know, um, probably be hard to talk, but we, we wouldn't have to talk while we we're doing it. So that's easy enough. Let me go ahead and do the back while I'm at it. I went ahead and just did this, the edging down here, since we know you see part of it, most of it. And we'll do our tree black. Yeah, this is a nice paint. So, you know, um, right, when you're at the thrift store, um, look in their little craft section because, oh man, you know, you can find, you can find, well, just never know what you're gonna find. I have got a bunch, maybe at Christmas time. I'm not expecting to do it, you know, for the Halloween season. I've got a bunch of um, um, stamps and ink. The ink might be dried up. Um, I haven't used them in quite a while, but we could get those out and play play with the stamps and the and the ink and maybe do something. But up, well, I'm saying that because I, I got a lot of them at the thrift store. Okay. All right, let's give this a minute to, let's give that a minute to dry. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, well, hmm. So maybe do we want this green? You know what, I've got this black on my brush. I'm gonna mix it with this green and we're gonna make a darker, just whatever we, whatever we come up with. Make it kind of a darker color. And then two, we could always, um, we could always stick some moss on here too. I'm just kind of sticking it on here. All right, let's get the edges. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough for the, uh, not gonna have enough for the back guys. Oh yeah, that's uh, definitely a darker color. Ah, uh, not that you're really going to pay that much attention to it, but still, uh, let's get a dab more green because we got to do the back and we ran out of black. Let's do 
like a drop of black. Now you guys know I've made this mistake plenty of times. You can't be too crazy with the black because a little black goes a long, long way. Oh, hey, almost got it on the table. Um, yeah, a little black goes a long, long way. Let me just get in here and do it sitting in here. It won't hurt it. So this is kind of cute though, you know, just kind of an added extra because I had this um, basically container, you know, just happened to look like a picket fence, which is kind of fun for a, a graveyard to be in, you know, inside of a, inside of a fence as certainly old ones used to be. Um, a lot of old ones used to be, maybe not, maybe not so much now, but, um, definitely in the past you'd see them with cool old cool old fences around them okay yeah i'm being a little haphazard about it but it's fine okay and then we'll do our moon okay okay all right well that's definitely a darker green but that's fine Okay, let's go ahead and rinse our brush out. And I think, what do we, what do we think about our tombstone? Um, we could mix some black and a little white and do like a gray. Um, we'll have to, well, we wouldn't have to. Hmm, just trying to think what we could put on this tombstone. I wonder if I've got, I had some labels I wonder if I got, I've got any label that would work or maybe some um, um, yeah cardstock maybe some of that grayish colored cardstock we can we can look at that real quick and see what we think let's go ahead and uh, oh and here's another one too see here's another tombstone so we'll have two of those to do um, we still, oh, we've got our orange because I never used it. So, okay. And yeah. Um, maybe let's paint the kind of, kind of let's go on the inside um, a little with just the lighter orange. And, um, Uh oh, I got a little green in it. No biggie. And then we can kind of go around the outside and do kind of the darker orange so it's not just all like one color of orange. Okay. I definitely got green paint all over that. And this one's got a big glob of green paint on it. Might take a couple of coats to, but that's okay. And I didn't get my stems. Do we want to try to fuss around with making our stems a different color? I mean, we could. I'm gonna go ahead and paint them orange for now. I could get a smaller brush, guys. I'm just playing. I know I say that, but it's true. I do say that kind of a lot, I guess, but it's true. This is just so much fun to me. I appreciate you all liking and subscribing and watching and all that good stuff so um hmm i'm not sure when my uh anniversary date would be for a year it's probably no it won't be until october i was gonna say it's probably coming up but so i haven't been doing this um even a year yet but um i love it it's so much fun i mean like i said before um, I was doing it anyway, so, <laughs> I 
don't honestly know how I got started on, you know, deciding to uh, record it. But uh, yeah, I'm really glad I did. And I really appreciate you all uh, watching and, you know, taking the time. And hopefully, you know, I'll just continue um, to improve. Just going to mix a little bit of black and a little bit of white. Well, but we thought maybe we would, um, hmm. Well, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it just looks like, just plain gray. Cause it almost looks kind of like it's shadowed, you know, cause everything's dark. So let's see what it looks like like this. And we can, you know, we can take it from there. If we don't like it, we can always cover it up, right? And we could write on this too, you know, we could like put RIP or whatever. Whatever we want to do. So I just mixed a little white with a little black. And like I said, that was just, uh, the white is just a can of uh, house paint I had. So obviously it's gonna last quite some time. And uh, you know, use what you got, no need to waste. And if you want it thicker, you guys know, you can always just put a little bit of baking soda. I've done that mainly. I think other people have done, different, I, like I've never used baking, get some green on there. I've never used baking powder, but I have heard people say they have. So I can't speak to that one because I don't, I haven't used that. Oh, I like that gray, you know. I don't know if you can see it. I set it over here to dry. So we'll see, we'll see what we think about it. All right, so we got our jack-o'-lanterns drying. Um, we've got, I'm going to think, get some fresh water, cause this water is super grody and I want to, oopsie, sorry. I want to um, make sure my water's clean because I'm going to be doing lighter colors. All right, now we're going to do the moon. And I don't know what I did with the box, but it kind of showed it going from like a orangier to a lighter on the inside. So... You know, we can do whatever we want, obviously, but um, I like that. So, uh, and here's more of, a, I just grabbed some paints. Here's more of a, a golden sunset is what that's called. And then just like a really, oh, that's gl Sorry, that's gloss. Oh, I don't know about that. Let's look at this. Let's look at this gloss real quick. No, I guess we do want the moon to be kind of shiny, don't we? Let's put a dab of the darker in it, and then, oh, well, it's more than a dab. And then if we need to, we can, um, we can also lighten it up with some white, but I like the golden. And we can always, you know, go over it, right? We can always go over it. Uh, again, that's a nice thing about it. Okay. And it's cute that those bat, they have those bat cutouts in there. That's really cute. All right, oh, this is fun. Now we're gonna have to paint those, uh, oh, we didn't do our other tombstone over there. Uh, we'll have to paint uh, the edges.
Okay. Could have a smaller brush, but eh. I'm just using what's here on hand. I have to get some more paint to do the back. Of course, we'll never reproduce that exact color, but it's fine. We'll see how that. Uh, We'll see how that dries. Gloss. Gloss acrylic paint. Hmm. Okay. So we'll just mix this up and we'll put some on the back as well. And then we'll go from there. Then we can uh, let that dry and then we can uh, do some shadowing. Oh, it looks like there's a little clump in there. I'll get that out. And then we're gonna have to do other tombstone. We might do that, just, you know, do a different, a darker shade of, of something. And we might end up, uh, we might end up covering up anyway if we aren't, aren't loving it. Cause it's easy just to, you know, take a little piece of scrap paper or something like that and go over it. green in there, but that's all right. Okay. So that's basically the back side of it. Okay. That's fun. That's going to be cute sitting on a shelf somewhere. Let me go over this down here again where I painted it green to begin with. Oh, fiddlesticks. Not dry. That's all right. We'll just blend into our shadows, right? Put it, kind of put it around the outside. Okay. All right. Let's let, let that dry a second. Um, I'm loving those back cutouts. Those are so fun. All right. What do we think about that? Uh, that tombstone. We've got the tree black and we've got this one gray. I think maybe that one should just be black. Oh, I've got a little black right here. We'll just pick this up and go in here and paint this black. We can always go over it a little bit if we feel like it's too dark, but you know, thinking about it being kind of in the shadows back here in the back, maybe it'd be better if it's a, a darker than the one up front. This is a little bit rough because I don't have a little brush. I actually, well, I do have a little brush in the, in the water over here. Let me get it out and do these edges so we're not. Uh, gunking, gunking it up all over the place. A little smaller brush. It's got some green on it, but. Still got a little green in it, but you're not going to be able to tell. You know, black pretty much covers everything up, right? If you paint, if you paint, get the black paint out, like I said, um, drop a black paint in something goes a long way. Here we go. Let me just get these edges. Okay. And we could put on here too. I've got a white paint pen and it's got a fine tip. Um, one end is, I got them on Amazon. They're nice. One is, oh, fiddlesticks. One is a fine, one end is a fine tip and the other end is, you know, like a broader. Um, okay. 
All right. So we got that going on and we got this going on. Oh, that's already looking cute. Uh, let me see. These guys are starting to dry. I definitely feel, I think that's the way it was in the picture. I definitely feel like they need a little help. Um, what do we have in here? Oh, we had black in here. Oh, what could we do to lighten these up a little bit? You know what? We've got... I've got a little bit of brown here. I don't know, unless it's all dried up. Oh, yeah, it feels like it. Oh, boy. Well, that's water. Oh, yeah, it's just like a <laughs> big glob in there, you guys. Okay, we'll throw that away. Um, you know what I do have right here is this Waverly, um, the uh, antique wax. Let's just pour the littlest drop. Okay. And then let's mix a bunch of water with it. Oh boy, I got an interesting combo here. It's brown, it's green, it's gray. I still feel like it's too, too much. I just wanted to kind of go around these and, you know, let's do the, let's do the stem first. I'll just kind of rub it with my finger. Well, fiddlesticks, I'm getting the whole thing, guys. Might have to, might have to highlight it a little bit. Come back over it and highlight it with some, a little bit of orange. But I didn't want it to seem, you know, like totally one dimensional. That's better than just the, you know, this plain orange. Let me try to just get it around the edges here a little better. Not too bad. I got orange on here, but I think I am going to put some moss on that when it dries down there. All right, let's let this kind of sit over here and do its thing. Okay, do you think that's dry? It looks like it is. I don't really think we have much else um, we can do to the tree um, or the tombstones really unless like I said we can we can write on them um, and we've got others too we've got that bigger set I'll show you um, so we might maybe we could do something a little fancier let's just leave these Kind of with the plane and maybe write something on it. Uh oh. Okay, so now we got to work on, and we do already have some variation in there, so you can see it, uh, but we got to work on that a little bit more. Um, here is some orange. Here's a dab of orange. Maybe let's mix that a little bit with the yellow and see what see what happens. Looks like I feel it feels like it needs a little bit of water in it though. You know, so uh oh now I'm picking up some green. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Uh okay, let's see. Let's just kind of, you know, let's just kind of go around the outside and we'll leave kind of the inside lighter a little more like it's illuminate illuminated right i 
And then let's, um, I'm gonna take my water and, oh, see that water's dirty. I'm gonna take my water though and just kind of make sure I'm blurring those lines. Right? Okay, so let's kind of leave, let's kind of leave that center and see what it looks like when it dries. Let's turn it around and let's do the other side. What you're probably not going to see because it's probably going to be up a, you know, up a, on a table where it's going to be one side. It'll probably be facing a wall, but I, I don't know. Maybe one of the girls will want it. <laughs> My one daughter's like, I am going to call you out, Mom. You're always saying you're giving us stuff. You don't give us anything. <laughs> oh. Which I don't know what in the world I'm doing with it. I used to decorate um, the younger daughter's house. Um, well, like I decorate, decorate her shelves by her TV and stuff like that. Um, she is so darn busy. She's got three little girls. She's working and busy, 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 busy. So, you know, she gets home, you know, they're done. They don't want me over there. And the girls are all in school now. So it's not like, you know, cause she, it was great. I'm so happy she got to stay at home with those kids when uh when they were little that is so nice if you get to do that there it's got a little variation you can see it okay um and we could do a little um we could do a little bit of that antique maybe i hesitate to do the you know i hesitate to do the uh the black but we might be able to Let's see what that looks like. If we did a little bit of the antique, uh, mix that in with the yellow. That antique wax. You know, just give it a bit of a shadow. Oh, that's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. It's kind of hard to tell when you're, when it's wet. I just mixed a little water. I'm just gonna go around this. I just mixed in a little water. I didn't pick anything else up. I'm just using what's in the brush. Acrylic paints are so nice though, cause you can really work with them. And um, you know, you can water them down. Your, your brushes wash out really nice because it's water-based. Um, it's nice. I have on, oh, I have honestly really never worked with um, oil paints. Well, I got some green in there, guys. We'll just kind of brush it out. Okay, that's the back side, but still, it's hard to tell. Uh oh, got some on the. It's hard to tell when it's wet. Kind of what you've got. Mm -hmm. Cute. Well, that's a fun little craft. We'll see how that. Uh, we'll see how that looks when it dries. Um, now we could take just a smidge, like a drop of the orange. It's like you're back in kindergarten with the uh, your watercolor set. That was fun times. I've always loved to craft. I'm just going to um, kind of dab this a little bit in the middle. It's just watered down orange paint. 
just to kind of maybe lighten up the little uh, middle a little bit, if it will. It's kind of hard to tell until it dries, like I said. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Why is that green such a problem? He's gotten it everywhere. I must have really laid on the green. Those are cute. You know, I don't want it too... I don't want it too bright orange. Although I think it could be a little better than, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, I'm just kind of patting it on here. And this was just the orange straight out of the thing. I didn't put anything else in it. You can see on that one how it's a little bit brighter there in the middle. We'll see how that goes, okay? We'll let those dry. Um, hmm, what are we thinking? Oh, still wet. I mean, I don't think we need to outline that where the, um, where the bats are. I mean, it's kind of doing its own thing. Um, all right, let me let this dry and we'll decide what we want to write on our tombstones and we'll see what our moon looks like as it dries and uh, I'll go find some, probably Spanish moss, don't you think? I'll go find some Spanish moss and um, we'll have that on hand when this dries. And we can uh, see what we think. See how that looks okay and what we want to write on uh, what we want to write. I mean, that one's tiny, so it's going to have to be pretty small. And this one's not really, um, this one's not, you know, very big either. So, be cute to do some like curly Q or something. We could just kind of freehand some curly Q on there with the, with the little black marker or the white one in the case. Eh, I don't know. Let's let this let's, let's let this dry a little bit. Hey guys, okay. Well, let's go ahead and finish up this cute little this cute little uh, sign type thing we started. Hmm. Um I have looked all over for my paint markers. Absolutely cannot find them. So I was just gonna outline this tombstone. My paint's a little thick. It's a, um, you know, it was just a gallon of paint I had. So I'm just gonna water it down a little bit. So um, I think we can just uh, do a little highlight on the, uh, on the tombstone and maybe just give the tree a little highlights. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and outline, you know, to the best of my ability here. Um, yeah, you, uh, if you don't use a, a little paintbrush, then you, uh, you kind of forget, you kind of forget how to do it. I could probably just outline this. I could probably just bring all these together. It's just so thick. Somebody's out working already. It's gonna be a hot one, but it's pretty nice. So anyway, yeah. Uh, so I went in and I did get part of the house decorated. Um, I think, you guys, it's just really hard. I don't know, everybody else uh, seems to do good at it. Um, for me, it's just really hard to, to do like a decorate with me type video because what happens is when I decorate, um, 
I'm still all over the place, so, you know, I'm still off finding stuff, so it would be me uh, cutting the camera off and putting it back on and cutting it off and, yeah. I haven't quite figured out that technique yet, so hopefully. Well, shoot, this paint's thick. I'm out of practice with a tiny brush. You get spoiled with the with the paint markers, but it'll be good. So we're just gonna outline this guy, and um, I think I'll just put like a, a maybe put a cross. Um, I had a foam cross that I'd taken off of something else, and um, I lost part of it. It flew away in the wind, so yeah. I tried to look for it, but uh, yeah, that is pretty darn rough, you guys. But that's all right, you know. It's weathered, it's been outside. Um, here was the cross. Here was the cross I was gonna use, which is technically, it was too big. But let's go ahead, maybe, um, maybe I can make kind of an outline of it. A really nice thing to use for this is uh, just put some on a wet wipe, but I don't have mine out here. So I'm just wetting uh, the corner of my cloth a little bit. And I already did a little bit on this. So I'm just gonna lightly go over the, just kind of lightly go around it. Just go over the edges a little bit. Go around the moon a little bit. Okay. Okay, and now this was what I just got at the, uh, I don't know, I think it had a fake plant in it. guys I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a coat Okay hey guys, that turned out pretty cute. I just put some of that um, decorative um, shreds from Dollar Tree. I just had a few of the black ones left just to give it some dimension. And then I just put some Spanish moss on top of it. So yeah, that turned out real cute. That'll be, um, that'll be cute in like a, a vignette of some sort, okay?